and joining BMW Blog for a special feature presentation where we'll have the opportunity to interview three M engineers, and we're going to be talking specifically about the new BMW 1M. So we'll introduce uh, our friends here at uh, BMW Blog first of all, one by one. Hello, my name is Christopher, and I'm responsible for the product of the connection to the other one. BMW blog and all of our readers, we would like to thank you sincerely for your hard work and you clearly enjoy it. Okay, so we'll ask a few questions. Uh, first of all, we'll start off uh, speaking about the 1M. Um, you know it has a turbo engine, of course, and uh, it does rev quite high to 70,000 RPM. But just from a technical standpoint, uh, actually, 1M aside, what are the, the engineering limitations when you're designing a turbo engine in terms of its maximum? Essentially, you're moving your power from the lower end to the lower end of the uh, RPM spectrum there, or the power source, I should say. Right. Okay. And uh, we'll also speak about heat engine in the same context. Uh, what is the limitation from an engineering standpoint in making a heat engine drive as high? Is it the fuel burn rate or the temperature of the fuel burn? Just the fact that it's a standard fuel engine. Okay. The, the fact is just that it's moving down the What's the highest rating um, and uh, or rather uh, the BMW heat engine is going to be at? What is the highest of that RPM that it's going to be at? Very good. So we'll talk a little bit about the new 1Ms uh, right up on the package. Can you tell us about the underbody and the engine done uh, on the underbody? So your bumper has an underbody to affect that also with an engine maintenance and maintenance. Okay. Uh, we'll move to the first because uh, we're a bit spoiled here. That is possible for those folks that have the <laughs> The ones that aren't for looks, uh, or rather the ones that are for looks and aren't functional are usually much bigger. <laughs> they fit ridiculous loads and they get squished in and out and whatnot. Um, we'll also talk a little bit about the history of uh, the 1M in the making and uh, actually the project itself, how it sort of got rolling. Can you tell us a bit of its history and the changes it's been built to race cars? Um, so on a smaller uh, racing car, we actually came out in the year 2008 uh, for, a, for a long term pilot. Program that we typically bring for us and uh, get some programs for you as well for cars. Uh, so we can run a center corner uh, with our program and uh, also for uh, easy race cars that need to be realized and to get the, get the spectrum that we need. And uh, we also um, we take the suspension parts of the engine and put them a little bit more on the system and run. So when we look at the final uh, product that's available for public purchase, would you say that it's actually quite close to its race car development? Sure, it's very close to race car. Um, only the set set of uh, different materials that are rich racing and then it's set up set to drive uh, but the rest is close to race car. Well, that makes it a little bit closer to the maturity and maturity of the engines as it is developed and as it's being produced and pushed out to production for the consumer. So, very special time. It feels more special every time I drive. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for your time. We uh, thoroughly enjoyed the interview. And thanks for joining us on BMW Blog. And we look forward to uh, future interviews and uh, more. Episodes.